Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Open Tech Innovations coming to you with a new video. It's been a while since I've done one. Uh, I have been doing some studying and research on different topics that I intend to talk about more, more or less going forward with this channel. Um, but today we're going to talk about something real simple. This is going to be a one part video and it's about DNS prefetching. Um, I recently have uh, taken a liking to using this technique as um, it is obviously uh, greatly appreciated by not only Google but many other search engines out there such as Yahoo uh, and of course Bing. And what's interesting about the DNS prefetching is that there's a variety of different techniques that allow you to uh, prefetch URLs that are slowing down the performance of your website. And so this one in particular is a very simple um, fix in my regards for the site that I'm working on, which is this website here. And the issue is that I've got a script tag that is in my website that is calling out for this font family from Google, um, family hind, and then of course it's calling out the different weight, uh, the weight categories, you know, 300, 400, 500, and so forth. And so, uh, when I did a, a G, GT metrics on this site, um, I noticed that I was initially at 96%, now I'm at 95. Now I know to some of you guys that's probably not a lot, um, but it does make a big difference when all of these 99, 99, 98, 97, 96, 92, and so forth are all at 100%. That just ultimately means that your website's gonna be 100% page speed score in addition to being obviously higher within Yahoo. And so the thing that we need to look at is the cache validator. And so the problem that we're having is that the browser is having to research or reloop to locate this particular font family as per the um, script tag that's in the head of the, or above the fold, I should say. And so what's happening is as the page downloads, it's having to go back and look for this font and then apply it to the page in order to apply all the styling that's been set for this page in general. And so a way to fix that is to use the DNS prefetching um, attribute. And the way to do that is real simple. So if we come here to our text editor, and I'm using brackets by the way, Adobe brackets, uh, we type in link, and then what we're gonna wanna do is only grab this section of the URL and place it in the href. Now this is where the DNS prefetching works. We have to change the, the uh, I guess the, re the relationship of this um, font family here to DNS-fetch. All right, and I'll show you a text editor here that has this. So there's a variety of different types of URLs that you can grab, um, which such as the the font type, your Google Analytics, um, your Twitter account, anything that has the HTTPS with the colon uh, in the head of your document or at the bottom or the footer can be called out based on the link relationship DNS fetch. Obviously, the link tag can only be in the head. So, to some degree, this might not be effective, um, but for the most part, everything that you're calling out that's an HTTPS that's above the fold, you can utilize the link uh, relationship DNS fetch. And then, of course, you place in your, um, your URL to your Google font or your analytics or your Twitter, whichever whichever you're using. So what I'm gonna do is just comment this out. And then I'm gonna save my document. I'll come to my FTP and then I will upload this document. And then I'll come to my browser, refresh my page. So that way the page takes on the new changes. And then as you can see, it's a 95 and an 81. So I'm gonna do a retest. And this will take just a second.
a moment of silence. All right, so you'll notice that we went up 2% in the y slow and 1% in page speed. So this is Google and this is Yahoo. So what happened was we just changed the specifying cache validator, which was at 98% and is now at 100%. So if you notice, there's no recommendations here. So that was a simple fix. That's how we fixed the cache validation process for the URL for my font. Now, some of you are gonna ask, well, did it still take on the same font? It absolutely did. In fact, I did test on it before I did this video. I um, did it on a um, local server by removing the Google font from the page as a script. And then I saw a change in the, the font. And then when I added the link with the DNS fetch, I obviously had to upload this to a server in order to see the changes, but you can tell that there was changes because I uploaded the um, website without the font and then I uploaded it with the DNS prefetch and there was more certainly a change in the font itself. And so that's pretty much it for this video there really wasn't much to this but if you are using gt metrics and you run across the issue that you're um, you need to specify a cache validator then that is probably the best option i would suggest is to utilize these new attributes that are coming from not just from google but well from any server but utilizing the prefetch um, type so that way you can locate those files. I mean, it even has it here. Link, DNS, prefetch, and then your URL. So there's more information in regards to the DNS prefetching that I play. I actually placed the links to this, to the Google uh, Chromium projects in the description, in addition to the site GT metrics. Um, and so that way you can test this out. What's also really cool about GT metrics is the comparison tests. So for example, if I want to compare a URL such as the one that I recently just built. Um, so take just a moment. And what you'll notice is that we get a comparison. Now you can compare four sites at a time and it will say the report. So what's cool about this comparison, um, and really this has nothing to do with the video, but I'm just showing you anyways, is that these two sites are very similar. Uh, the page speed grade obviously on this site here is, uh, is above, it's, one plus, it's plus one percent. The Y slow is negative nine percent. Um, obviously, the loading time on this site is a lot higher than it is over here. It's three seconds, 1.7 seconds. Um, total page speed or size is actually 3.27 megabytes, whereas this one's 249. Uh, and then, of course, the request is 40 to 44. So there's a big difference in the, the overall performance of the website itself. Um, and as you scroll down, you'll notice all the different um, categories in terms of what it's looking for and you'll notice some grayed out some in green and then of course some in red uh, and those are the ones that are just basically saying you need to optimize these images things of that nature um, so this is a pretty neat site so anyways in the description below I went ahead and put GT metrics website in addition to this uh, information in regards to the chromium projects and so that'll pretty much complete this video. I have some more content coming really, really soon. Um, and if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, uh, share it, and then of course become a subscriber of my channel, as I just said previously. So that'll pretty much complete this video. I appreciate you stopping by. You have a wonderful day.